Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now today is just going to be a quick tutorial on permissions. We've already covered commands, so I'm not going to be showing how to set up commands or anything. If you want to look at that, you can just check out the video up in the top right here. Today's just going to be a very quick video because permissions are super simple. Honestly, it's like one or two lines of code and that's pretty much it. So let's just start with what we have right now. I just created a basic plugin with one command that's called test. And let's see that if we go over to our server. Okay, let's join our server. And as you can see, we're not op. We can't run game mode. We can't run any kind of give commands. So we're not an op on this server. But what we can do is run our test command. You see it says you use the test command. And we want to change that because we want only players with very specific permissions to be able to run that test command. And right now, anyone can run it with any set of permissions. So let's head over to our plugin. Okay, so here we are inside the plugin. Let's go over to our test command. And all we have right now is a basic command that just checks if the sender is a player. So if the sender is not a console pretty much or a command block. And then it just sends that player a message. Right now, anyone can execute that command no permissions required. So what we want to do is make it so that only players with certain permissions can execute that command. Now honestly, this is incredibly simple. It's one line of code. We just go over here and we do if sender dot has permission and then all we have to do is put in our permission. So usually you want to do this your plugin name dot the permission that you want. So for me, let's say um, permissions dot because permissions is the name of the plugin. You can even take this further. You can do permissions dot command dot test. So now we're testing if the player has this permission and if they do have the permission, we want it. So we, we actually want to test if they don't have the permission and then, and then if they don't have the permission, we can just return false. And that'll stop the function right there. So it won't go any further and it won't send the message. Now let's build this and test it out. Perfect, so now let's join and as you can see, we're still not up. So if I try time set day, because it's nighttime, nothing's gonna work. I don't have up. And if we try to run our test command, you can see that nothing happens at all because we don't have that permission. Now, usually you wanna add like a message or something that says you don't have permission to use that command or not, you don't really have to. Um, if you wanted to do that, you could just come over here to the plugin and just instead of doing return false, you could just put, uh, or sorry, you still need return false because we want this to stop the function. But before we put return false, we can just do sender dot send message. Uh, and then we can put in our component um, dot text. And then we can say something like you don't have the required permission to use this command. So that's really all you need for permissions. It's super simple. Now you might ask, how do we actually give our player these permissions so they can use the command? Um, and the answer to that is really, you need a permissions plugin like LuckPerms. Now I might do another video tutorial on how to use LuckPerms because it's a super useful plugin. And honestly, every plugin developer should, should know how to use it because it's uh, it's incredibly useful when it comes to managing permissions and even just server admins, it's extremely useful. Um, but for our case, we can just give ourselves op because op by default has all permissions in the entire game for every pl custom plugin and everything, unless otherwise specified by the plugin. So if we just go over to our server console and op myself, we go back over here to the game. You can see now we're op, we can time that day, which is nice. Um, it means now we can run our test command. Oh my god, I can't spell. Now we can run our test command and see it works just fine. Like I said, I think I'll do another tutorial on how to use LuckPerms just because again, it's super useful and it can really help with plugin development. But really for permissions, that's about it. Like there's, it's not super difficult. It's like one line of code. But it's extremely useful to know because without it, you can just have players doing whatever they want on your servers using your plugins without any kind of permissions whatsoever. And that's generally not what you want for most plugins. So thank you very much for watching. I know this was a short one, but hopefully it helped you out. If you have any ideas for future tutorials, let me know down in the comments section. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.